Today I want to talk to you about the Bluetooth 3.0 connector that's on your motherboard. Recently I had a client come in who had a problem trying to get it out of the board and then damaged the board and uh, asked me to give him a solution to fix that problem. So I figured I'd share that with you today. Before we get started, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Please excuse, I just had shoulder replacement surgery. And we'll get into that subject right now. Some of you who know motherboards or have you opened your computer are very familiar with this connector. It's your 3.0 USB connector that plugs into the motherboard and then supplies the connections to your front of your computer with your 3.0 slot sockets. Recently, one of my clients attempted to remove that from the board and uh, had a difficult time getting it out and damaged the pins. So I want to discuss about that right now. Now, many of you are familiar with this connector, and it's pretty, pretty simple, easy. And this just happens to be a splitter. We'll talk about that in a second. But basically what happened is I, he decided he needed additional USB 3.0 ports in the front of his computer, and he had an open socket. We'll talk about that in a second. But when he went out to, went to con disconnect it, and he tried to pull it out, it wouldn't come out. He tried to pull it this way and tried to pull it that way. And eventually he ended up ripping the actual socket, uh, leaving the pins on the motherboard out. And as he did, the pins got bent. So there's been a lot of some of the one of the things I want to talk to you about first is the proper way to remove this. Now, a lot of people think that this is just a trade socket. But if you look closely, okay, at the connector, and I'm hoping you can see this right here. You have your key slot, which goes into the motherboard, right there. And then on this side, if you look very closely, you can see two little nibs. And those nibs actually go into the socket where it plugs in on the motherboard. And you, if you listen carefully as it's going in the first time, you hit, and it's actually locked. So then when you try to pull it out, depending upon how well these nibs grab, whether how they were formed in the mold, you may have a hard time getting them out. And this is how one of my clients did. Now, I've heard many, many talks about trying to get this out. Now, unfortunately, I have shoulder surgery, but I can't open a computer to actually show you this, so I'm going to just talk about it. So what basically has happened is these, these two little nibs are pushed out. And, of course, it's plugged into a socket. Now, what you're trying to do, okay, a lot of times you'll see people talk about taking it and pivoting it one way and then start to rock. One of the things that some of my pe people I've talked to, the best way to do this is because of the two nibs, you can take a six-inch metal ruler and try to push it in on the side, not the notch side, just a little bit on the notch side, and just kind of try to spread that connector out just a little bit. Because if it's bowed slightly and it's pushing up against these connector, it'll be a little hard. And if you if you bend the plastic a little bit away as you're coming in like this, you will find that then as you begin to rock it, first push it one way and then gently rock back and forth. It'll pull the two, it'll pull it out from the two nibs that are holding it in place. That's why you're having such a hard time. Now take your time doing this. If it's stuck in there good, you don't want to rip that connector out of that motherboard. But if you like my client who did that, let's talk about the solutions that you might have or some other solutions that you've never heard of before. For the most part, most people never even open their computer after it's installed. But in my case with my client, he decided to wanted to add a forward port because his, his case it only had one USB socket and two USB 2.0s. So he put an expansion socket in his case happens to be able to have it. They come in different companies, different connectors, different ways of doing it. Um, you can add a USB-C to the front of your computer and they're pretty cool as they are. So you'll have a standard USB 3.0 that plugs into the motherboard and a Santa connector and a USB 
connect your all cell through your 2.0 and then those are in and a power connector of some type now a lot of people if you want to re use the same socket on the motherboard that you've used you can use something like this and this is basically a splitter you would unplug from the motherboard the USB 3.0 socket put a replacement in here and then plug your two cables one from your, your top of your case and one from that extender board that it has on there now what, what happens if unfortunately like in his case he damaged the motherboard connector well there's only one two things you could send it out for repair when someone can replace the connector or something else you can do is to buy a USB 3.0 PCI riser. Now this happens to be one particular brand and basically what it does is allows you to plug into the PCI socket. It allow this particular board happens to have two USB 3.0 or 3.1 sockets in the front. It is connects to the power supply on the white connector and then you would then plug your USB 3.0 header cable into it. Now in this case what I did to fix my client's computer is I plugged a splitter, plugged it into that little board, and then plugged those two cables that were coming out into the other side. Problem solved. Uh, but those are some of the things, a simple solution to the problem. These boards are available, these parts are available on Amazon. Uh, Amazon says I can't write a review on any product, so I don't give the, the, the product uh, description out for people because I don't want to support Amazon. Anyway, this was a quick review, a quick understanding of that USB 2.0 socket that's coming off the motherboard. If you're having a problem getting it off, the reason why it's a little nibs on the other side from the notch are holding it in. And depending upon whether the motherboard is, the connector is very tight, firm in there, you may have a hard time getting it out. Some people find by rocking it one way and then beginning to rock it out is one way. But if you've tried a lot of things, you, one person has told me, and I've tried it myself, and it did work, taking a six-inch ruler, put, putting it in between the actual socket and the connector, and just gently pushing it in there, spreading it out a little bit, bending the plastic, and then the two little nibs let release and it let go. Now, unfortunately, if you've already just damaged that motherboard, you only have two choices. One is to have it repaired, or if you if not, you can again, like I said, you can use a USB riser board, uh, PCE, and it'll give. And they have different form connectors of this. They have one that has two, seven, whatever it happens to be. But you want to look for one that would allow you to connect your USB 3.0 connector from the case to it. And if you have decided to expand it, you can use a splitter like this. Uh, again, available. Uh, I found these on Amazon. You can search them out. Anyway, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech Out. I hope this information has been useful for you. If you have, please subscribe. Share it. Let people know about this information. And uh, give a comment if it helped you. Thanks so very much for your time. You have a great day. Mm -hmm.